it was finally time for me to replace these worn out handlebar grips on my bike. The originals were rubber and have long since failed. Of course there are replacements available for about 30 bucks, but I really wanted to avoid the rubber versions that will eventually get sticky to the touch and fail. I liked the overall shape of the ones I had with a few tweaks. If I'm able to make a suitable replacement that could be 3D printed, then I'd be set for life. For this print, I'll be using the FL Sun V400. It is an incredibly fast Deltabot printer and uses the combined geometry of three legs to position the print head. The machine assembly was very straightforward, and the printer comes with Cura software. The print setup is the same as any other printer. But Deltabots are much more fun to watch. I am using carbon fiber nylon for resistance to moisture, but it would be easy enough to print it again in something else. I just prefer the look of the carbon fiber prints. This machine has some nice details, like LEDs under the extruder and a removable spring steel plate for removing your prints. Here you can see the three legs moving in concert to position the print head. I hope to explore non-planar printing with this machine in the future. I am printing these grips with five walls and a dense infill so they are very durable. To get a semi-accurate pattern for the leather, I will wrap the area like you would a boxer's hands. Using short pieces of tape will conform the best to the curvature of the surface. Being sure to get at least three layers of tape for durability. The location of the seam is important and I tried to balance comfort with where the seam could be the most advantageous for wrapping the curvature. The leather can be asked to stretch a little bit, but there are limits. With this tape pattern, I will transfer the basic shape to the leather. This is Kodiak oil tanned leather. It is pretty good for items that will be exposed to the elements. Here I can make small adjustments until it fits perfectly. Ideally, I'd have about an 8 to 3 16 inch gap to pull together at the seam. If I was only doing one set of handles, I could probably make do with this one that I manually cut. Because I am interested in repeatability, I will scan this back into the computer so I can develop a digital pattern. In CAD, I can easily array the holes and play with possible patterns for the grip. Next, I could simply print the final patterns. Or even better, I'll put them directly to a laser cutter. Using a razor blade, I'll cut the few fibers that the laser missed. With the final wrap produced, I will stitch the seam and pull the leather tight over the 3D printed shape. I will measure the thread to be a generous four times the length of the stitch. Hooked needles will make finding the holes easier when on the printed form. The wrap should sort of slip into place at this point. When starting out, it'll take a few stitches before things start feeling right. I am using a baseball stitch because it's pretty straightforward, like lacing your shoes or like lacing really long boots. Just pull the leather and thread tight as you go.
If you are wondering, the holes are spaced about 4 millimeters from the edge and from each other. I also looked into doing other styles of stitches, but ultimately chose the baseball stitch. Mostly because of the traditional look and the simplicity of the stitch. Sometimes the back of stitches look better than the front. I gave these a few knots before melting the ends. I'll use insert nuts to allow me to tighten the grip to the handlebar. This uses a hot iron to heat them up and melt into a predefined hole. As I mentioned, having the geometry machine ready allows me to make multiple copies and variations. If you want to print your own, please check the description. For the red and black bike, I decided to stick with the theme. The rest of the install was pretty straightforward. Not only do these new grips look great, but they'll also lead to many more years of enjoying my bike in comfort and style. Thanks for watching.